Hello and welcome back to my kitchen. <laughs> hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. I wanted to bring you through a massive Trader Joe's haul again. The last time I did this, you guys seemed to really, really love it. I wanted to show you kind of what I get at the grocery store. This is a pretty big haul, I would say. We're heading out of town in two weeks. So I wanted this to kind of be like the last huge grocery run that I had to do before then. And hopefully we'll just survive on this until we go. But I wanna show you guys what I got to restock our fridge, our freezer, our pantry. And in case you don't know, if you're new here, I'm on a little six week journey myself to shed some fat and just get more energy back and have my own little glow up. And nutrition is such a huge component of how good you can feel in your body. So I have a lot of healthy options, a lot of fruits, veggies, lean proteins, things like that. But we also have some fun treats because that's balance. That's living a healthy lifestyle is incorporating all of it and having everything like in moderation. Let's dive into what I got because I have frozen things on my counter and they are melting. Also grabbed a little Starbucks before I ran in because it's never a good idea to go grocery shopping on an empty stomach. So I grabbed some food, egg white bites, and oatmeal, and a coffee. So let's dive in. Let's start with the frozen stuff so I can get it put away because it's literally dripping everywhere. So first and foremost, I got frozen veggies. We use these almost every single night. This is just the Asian stir fry vegetables from Trader Joe's. It has snap peas, broccoli, carrots. I literally love using these, especially when you're like tired at the end of the night. You don't feel like getting creative or cutting up a bunch of fresh vegetables for your meals. These are an awesome, healthy option. Then I got the shelled edamame. This is a great source of protein and I'm mainly plant-based. So I'll sprinkle this either just like in a bowl with some garlic salt and heat it up or I'll put it on a salad or like in a bowl with some rice and veggies and protein. So good. I got two bags of frozen organic strawberries. I love, love, love putting these in my smoothie. I'm on a huge frozen strawberry smoothie kick. I think because summer's coming. Just light and creamy and delicious and super sweet and I love that. Then I got another cauliflower gnocchi. I forgot I already had two in there but we're gonna eat this because Clearly, I don't remember to do it, but this is great when you're kind of wanting like a little pasta, a cozy, like indulgent night without feeling super full and overly stuffing yourself afterwards. So cauliflower gnocchi. Then I got two of these Japanese style fried rices. These are literally amazing. We'll do this in a bowl with protein, uh, veggies, you know, a little bit of olive oil, and man, this literally feels like you're getting a Chinese takeout. It is so yummy, especially if you crisp it up a little bit in the pan a little extra long. Also for Jake, I got the mandarin orange chicken. I got two bags of this because he loves these. We'll do this with, well, he'll do this. I'll do like my own little vegan protein and then put it with this fried rice. This combination is to die for. Then I got him two kind of like frozen meals. He is like a little lazy on his nutrition. <laughs> he likes really convenient options. So we found this butter chicken with basmati rice from Trader Joe's and it's kind of like a Indian curry taste and he said it was really good last time. So we got another one of those and a frozen pizza. This is for him, not really for me. This will hurt my stomach so much. The sausage in this is absolutely amazing. So I'll have like a little tiny sliver of it and I'll call it a day because my stomach will hurt too much afterwards. But that's pretty much all of the frozen stuff. I love frozen options for frozen fruit and frozen veggies because they're actually stored most of the time. They're frozen at like the best time of their quality, if that makes sense. Like they're gonna be the freshest when they're frozen. A lot of people think that frozen fruits and veggies are not as great of an option, but I love these. I use them every single day. Moving on into the fresh produce department. So even though we get some frozen veggies, I still like to have some fresh ones on hand. Lately, our favorite like kind of go-to has been bell peppers with onion and mushroom. This combination on top of a salad in a bowl with some rice and some protein, this is to die for. So I got sliced big bell mushrooms, these tri-colored organic uh, bell peppers, red, orange, and yellow, and then three onions because we will eat this like two or three times a week, this combination, it's so good. Then I got some strawberries. These are not the organic ones. All of the organic ones looked like they were going bad, so I'm just gonna wash these extra good. But I got fresh strawberries, fresh cut up cantaloupe. Sometimes it's nice to just get the frozen stuff, or not frozen, the fresh cut because like, I love cantaloupe, but I know I'm not gonna cut a real one and do it myself. So sometimes I go for like, I splurge and I spend the extra money to have them cut it. And then I got some kiwis, some oranges. I've been loving having these extra cold out of the fridge and having them like outside when it's sunny. Four apples, which are a great source of fiber and carbs. I got some bananas, some organic avocados, and then some fresh spinach and romaine. We pretty much have a salad almost every single night. It's a great 
way to just get in extra veggies, good clean sources of protein. So this is a lot of the fresh produce that we got. <laughs> Looking at it all, I feel like it doesn't look like I got that much, but there's still a lot to go through. Moving on to protein with a quick coffee break. So for protein, I always get the organic extra firm tofu. This is only like $1.99. When people say it's more expensive to be plant-based, I think they just don't really know what they're doing. But this organic firm tofu is literally $1.99. So I got two of those. I got Jake an organic ground beef along with ground turkey. I don't know why I was craving like a ground turkey rice veggie bowl night. So I got that for that. He also does a lot of chicken. So I got the organic free range chicken. This is the boneless skinless breast strips and then chicken tenders. Now I also have some other tofu in the fridge. I also have some of the garden products, which are not the best option. Okay. They're a little bit processed. We know this, but they're really good and I really enjoy them. So everything in moderation. Then for kind of like pastas and grains, we have a few like different things of bread in there and a little bit of like leftover pasta, rice and stuff like that that I wanted to use up. So I didn't get a whole bunch here, but this lemon basil pasta salad from Trader Joe's is to die for. It's got like a basil taste with lemon and it's so fresh, so yummy. And then I also got this four cheese ravioli for him. And then I tried this vegan spinach and cashew ravioli last time and it is absolutely amazing. Number one, I didn't realize that it has six grams of protein per serving and there's three servings in it. I literally couldn't even eat the whole thing last time. So if you were to eat the whole thing, this has almost 20 grams of protein in it, which is pretty good. So these are great for when you're kind of wanting like a cozy night in or just wanting like a big bowl of pasta, but you want like a healthier alternative. These are a great option. Moving into the fun little pantry stuff. Uh, this is where the balance comes into play, okay? Some of these are absolutely not the healthiest option, but that's again, healthy living is everything in moderation. So for snacks, I got this white cheddar corn puff. Oh my God, this is amazing. It's like pirate's beef, but somehow better. And that whole bag is like $2.99. Then I got some chili and garlic cashews, which are a great source of protein and healthy fats. Then I got Jakey's garlic and onion pistachios. He's loved these last time, so I got another one of those. Get roasted seaweed snacks, which are amazing when you're craving something like salty and sweet, kind of like chip-like, but not really chips. And then I got the peanut butter filled pretzels along with these chocolate chip, what do they call them? Chocolate chip cookie dumpers. Jake will eat like six of these at night and they're absolutely amazing. They're so not healthy, but they're so worth it. These are mainly for our drive home in two weeks. So I'm gonna try my best to practice self-discipline because these are like my kryptonite. I just, White chocolate covered pretzels are the weight to my heart. And then I also got three Go Macro bars and the oatmeal chocolate chip flavor. These have, they're not like the greatest for protein, but I really love the taste. 12 grams of protein, 35 carbs, three fiber, 13 sugar, and nine fat. So come working and I just want like a little snack, something to kind of hold me over between meals. I love going for these. They're amazing. And then the last category is like random miscellaneous household items. So this multi-purpose cleaner from Trader Joe's is only like $3.99 and it lasted me so long. I do like a deep clean in the kitchen every night because I have OCD. Um, and this is one of my favorite cleaners of all time it lasts forever so I got one of those and then my friend Janelle was talking about these and I needed to try it because it is the quick dissolve collagen peptides and she puts it right in her matcha right in her coffee in the morning and I'm trying to up my protein intake because like I said I'm mainly plant-based also I've just been noticing like my under eyes are still so dark and I feel like I need some extra collagen in my life so I'm gonna try this out I've never tried it before so I'll let you know if I like it then I got another bottle of the organic extra virgin Spanish olive oil and the olive oil spray along with the organic maple syrup. I do this in my oats at the end of the night. I'll like put them in the fridge and basically do two tablespoons of maple syrup, two packets of instant oatmeal, mix it up with some almond milk and it's like the most delicious, healthy, cold cereal. I'm obsessed. And then two pineapple kombuchas. And that's it for this little grocery haul. I don't feel like it was little. I feel like it was a lot of things for $210. I love going to Trader Joe's because I feel like I can find the organic options and they just have like fun, healthy options like that fried rice, the mandarin chicken, which you can't really find at regular grocery stores like the food line that's technically closer to our house. But Trader Joe's is just so much more of an experience to go in. So that's going to wrap up this little haul. I hope that you guys liked it. If you did, make sure you give this video a thumbs up and make sure you're subscribe to my channel for new videos every Sunday and Thursday. And let me know, what are some of your staples from Trader Joe's? I want to try new things when I go there next time. I would say some of my absolute favorite things from them are the fried rice, like I showed you. I love the edamame that they have. I love those chili and garlic cashews that they have, the chocolate chip dongers that they have. I can't pick one. So let me know, what's your number one go-to 
Trader Joe's product. I'd love to know. Thank you guys for being here. Thank you for watching and supporting my channel. It means the world to me. I hope you have an amazing rest of your day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.